Okay, start the record again. Electric fields. Now we talk about electric field. Right, around a magnet, you all know about magnets, you learn before. Around a magnet, you know magnet can attract things like it can attract another magnet, it can repel another magnet. Okay? You can't see it, but there's something around a magnet. What is it? No. What, what do you call it? Around magnetic a magnet. Field. Ah, magnetic field, right? So there's an invisible magnetic field around the magnet that looks something like that. Okay, which next time we will do lah. This will be another chapter. Okay? And if anything is near the or within the magnetic field, you will experience a force, either repulsion or, or, or attractive force, right? So we all know that. Okay, and then you also know uh, there's there's uh, arrows also, right? Okay, I think you learned all this before. Okay, so same thing uh, for electric field. Uh, they also have an electric field. Okay, so the definition, electric field is a region where an electric charge experiences what does it experience? What does it experience? What do I say? You know, magnet and something nearby will be attracted or repelled. So it experiences a force. Right? It experiences a force. Either attractive force or repulsive force. Okay? There's a definition for electric field. Then for electric lines of force or electric field lines, the definition okay, is a path a positive charge will take if you see the word if uh, it's not it has an if uh, it was free to move you know the positive charge can't move okay but here they put that if it was free to move right then that will be the path you will take okay and uh, <coughs> so the direction of the field uh, is defined as the direction of the force on a small positive charge Okay, so how do we draw the electric field? Very easy, but people usually sometimes draw wrongly. So some people will draw like that. Okay, they draw the, the field like that. Uh. What, what do you think this looks like? Sun. Yeah, it looks like a sun. Okay, you don't draw any how draw. Okay, it's not, it doesn't look like a sun. Uh. Okay, so how you should draw? Like this. Lines, arrows. Don't forget. Okay, you don't have to... Up to you how many lines you want to draw, but... You must draw equal number of lines. So you're gonna draw like right side uh so many, then the left side also must have so many. And the lines must be touching the sphere. Uh. Okay? So you don't draw uh, like wow, oh, okay, I draw straight lines, but not touching. Okay, they must be touching for the sphere because the <coughs> electric field lines emerge from the sphere, right? So they must be coming from the sphere. And then after you have drawn this. Now you will tell me, I forget to draw the arrows, but then when you come to the exam, you yourself also forget. Okay? It is away from the positive. So the arrows point away from the positive. Okay? And if it's negative, it looks exactly the same. Drawing, very easy. Draw the same thing. Only difference is what? Reverse direction. Reverse direction. The few lines will be pointing. Yes, towards the sphere. So it will be pointing in towards the sphere. Exactly the same. So it's very easy to draw. I say easy, yeah, but you'll be surprised that people will lose marks here. Okay? Either never draw properly or the arrow's wrong or something like that. Okay? So the few lines just simply represent uh, how another charge will move. So let's say if I have a certain charge, uh, a, a positive charge that was placed here. Okay? How will it move? You will follow this path along this few line. Okay, that means it comes diagonally down. Okay, because attractive what? Attractive force. Okay. So that's how you will move it will, if it was free to move. Okay, so that's what it means. Alright, so drawing is not a problem. Okay, so when there's positive and negative, uh, when there are two charges positive and negative, you know that it will attract. Okay, so how do you draw the charges to show attraction? The few lines must then now they connect to each other. They join up to each other like that. Okay? Alright, so and how do the arrows point? What do you think? Left to right, right to left. Right to left. Right to left. Yes, right to left, uh, because positive to negative all the time. Okay? And then uh, some people just leave it like that. Okay, they remember all oh, attraction, uh, they join up. So very important, draw like this. Okay, not just like that, uh. Don't, don't neglect to draw the others as well. 
So this will bend a little bit. This one will bend a little bit. Previously, this was straight. It was the one that was pointing straight up. So now this will bend, bend. This will bend. This will bend a little bit. Why? Because uh, they are being attracted towards it. Okay. Then I then over here. Okay. Uh, it can be straight. Okay, it was too far away already, so not strong enough. Okay. Okay, so they don't connect over here because maybe the field is here is very weak already. Okay, so the, the further you are from the the two charges, the field becomes weakened and you don't draw. So there's slightly bent, slightly bent, slightly bent because there's the influence of the negative charge on the positive charge. Okay? So can draw something like that. Not difficult lah. Okay. Then the next part over here, two negative, two negative. All of you know it will repel. Repel. So will the few lines touch each other? No. No. So how to draw? Ah? Diverge. Like that. They come and then they start to run parallel to each other. Like they are going to repel like that. Okay, something like that. So, they, they look, the lines look like they are running parallel, okay? Not look like, uh, they are running parallel, okay? So, they, they look like this. Okay, then you can draw some more over here. Okay. Effort, Jeremiah must remember to draw the arrow pointing into the, into the negative, right? Into the negative, yes. Into the negative, like that. Okay. So we point into the negative. So Easy lah. Seriously, not difficult to do this, huh? Okay. 